in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a good checkpoint system in your Roblox game. Make sure you guys join my Roblox group and my Discord with the links in the description. And also make sure you like and subscribe if this video helps you at all. All right. So the first thing I want to do is uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to get a kill brick so I have it so I could test just for testing for now. But the first thing we want to do is we want to make a folder in the workspace. And I'm going to call this checkpoints like that. And then in this folder is where you can actually make your checkpoint. So this is going to be pretty simple to make. Uh, you could just get a part like this, scale it to be like kind of a square thing. And then we can make this one black colored and then duplicate it maybe. Make it smaller. Something like this. I'm going to make this one green. Like that. Just a simple little um, checkpoint. And then you want to name one of these parts to main. So like I'm just going to take this green part right here and then rename it to main. All right, that's it. Then we want to go into a group as model. And then whenever you have it as a model, you want to rename it to one. So that's going to be your first checkpoint. And you can make the you can make your checkpoint however you want. All you need in it is just one part named main where that you want whenever the player touches it. That's whenever they will actually hit the checkpoint. So and then we can also to make more checkpoints. All we need to do is duplicate this, move it over, rename it to the next number. So one, two, and then we can duplicate again and rename it to three like that. And that's all we should need for the workspace. Let's go ahead and make a server script in here. We'll call it checkpoints. All right. And then in here, we'll go local RP equals game, get service, replicate storage. And then we also want to get the players. So game dot players. And then we'll go players dot player added connect function P. And then we'll say local leader stats equals instance dot new folder. And then we'll parent that to the player like that. We'll say leader stats dot name equals leader stats just like that we'll get a value for the checkpoint that they're currently on so we'll go local checkpoints equals instance dot new number value and then we'll say leader stats and then we have to say checkpoints dot name equals checkpoint just like that this will not save what checkpoint the player is on whenever they leave and rejoin however i do have a module i do have a model for this on Roblox. I'll put that down in the description. So all you have to do is put it into your game and then I should have a script in there that tells you where to put things and then that should work just fine. All right. Other than that, we will say four underscore points in I pairs game dot workspace dot checkpoints. Get children do we'll say point dot top main dot touched connect function other and this is why we need the main part so we'll say if other does not equal nil then if other dot parent find first child humanoid uh, we have to put that in quotes humanoid then we'll say local player equals players find first child other dot parent dot name and then we'll say if player dot leader stats dot checkpoint dot value does not equal to number point dot name. So this is just making sure that we aren't hitting the same checkpoint over and over and over again. We'll say print hit checkpoint just so that we know the player hit it. We'll say if player dot leader stats dot checkpoint dot value is less than two number point dot name and player dot character dot humanoid dot health is greater than zero. All right, then we in here we want to say player dot leader stats dot checkpoint dot value equals two number point dot name. We'll say point dot main dot material equals enum dot material dot neon and then we'll just task that weight 0.5 and then we'll say point dot main dot material equals enum 
about material, about plastic. So this is just a visual cue that the player actually hit the checkpoint so that they know that they hit it. But if you want to add any sound effects, particle effects, anything, this is where you want to put it. All right, and the final thing we want to do is we're going to go down here to players dot player added connect function layer and then we'll say layer dot character added connect function we'll say c and then we'll say local spawn point equals game dot workspace dot checkpoints find first child to string layer dot leader stats dot checkpoint i can spell checkpoint dot value and then we'll say if spawn point then we'll say local spawn pause equals spawn point dot main dot c frame plus vector three dot new zero five zero all right then we'll say if c if c dot primary part so we're checking for the primary part on the character we'll say c set primary part c frame to the spawn pause so i did make a small error right here i capitalized m right here they should not be capitalized test this so we walk over to this we have we're at checkpoint zero we hit it we get checkpoint one it lights up so we know hit it again nothing happens and then if we go over here and die like that then we spawn on top of the next checkpoint so if we then hit the second one close up but then if we go back we can't get to this one because we already uh past checkpoint one but we can still go to the third one all right thank you guys so much for watching if this video helped you at all make sure you like and subscribe and join my discord with the link in the description also if you don't feel like scripting all this out and building it out then i do have a model down in the description that you can just click on and put into your roblox game and you don't have to script anything all you have to do is place the checkpoints down and i'll see you guys in the next video